Hey YouTube, this is Big Ray 20. What you see here are my two custom Soundstream Triple X 15s with Pierce Audio Products soft parts. They're dual 1.4 ohm voice coils, six spiders, uh, four inch, eight layer voice coils. They um, take about 4,000 RMS, give or take. I got them in my 2009 Nissan Armada. The box I picked up from Offer Up. Um, it's a custom box, but it's not really made for SPL. I, I'm still just using it for testing. Right now, I have the two turnips, smart, smart three bass. Uh, sorry for the fuzziness on my phone. I got two of them. One purse triple X 15. Uh, the wire to 0.7 each. And these are the smart bass threes. So they do 3,000 watts at 0.5. 1 ohm and 2 ohms and right now I have it wired to 0.7 I'm not sure where my rise is but I'm hoping to get somewhere around 3000 watts per sub right now I'm clamping one amplifier I have the leads on this one amp here so the power you see displayed on screen is going to be times 2 uh, right now I only have a single North Star Group 31 battery it's the same as I did with the FDZ's eventually I'm going to be building a a bank of C-Max Lithium. I'm going to retest it to see how it does on better electrical. But for right now, I have the single North Star Group 31 AGM and a stock alternator in the 2009 Nissan Armada. Those are my C-Max Lithium cells that I'm going to be building up. 240 amp hours. So stay tuned for that video. It's going to be coming up real soon. I'm controlling the bass. With the CT sounds bass knob, and I'm going to show how the voltage is. These amplifiers will play from 9 volts up to 17 volts. And right now, with the stock alternator and it single battery, I'm at 14.4 volts. And I'm controlling everything from the phone here using the simple tone generator. I'm going to test. 35 to 60 Hertz with the SPO Labs wireless base meter on the glass. Everything is sealed off. The two seats in the back are down and the driver window is down as well. Doors closed, windows down. This is the same way I tested when I have the two FDZ audio 3500s in here. So I want to get a full blown comparison on how it's going to go turn the radio up I tuned the, the amplifiers and game matched them with the SMD CC1 the crossover caliber and to set the gains I used the SMD DD1 these tools here SMD DD1 and SMD CC1 those are the two tools I use to set my gains and also, uh, game match the amplifiers. I know there's better tools out there or different, but uh, I happen to like them. So let's see what kind of power we get out of these amps. And I uh, hope you guys like what you guys see. So at 35 Hertz, did a 144.5 dB with 1,776.1 watt. And that's out of one amplifier. So the power you see is gonna be times two. I'm gonna try 35 Hertz again because I don't believe I got my voltage drop. So let's see, we're up to 14.3 right now. Try Let's try 35 first again. All right, so as you see, I dropped down from 14.3 to like 10.4 volts, and I did a 144.5 dB at 35 hertz with 1,747.1 watt clamp. Next, we're going to try 40 hertz. <laughs> 40 
14.3 volts. Let's go ahead and reset the meter and try 40 hertz. All right, so at 40 hertz, did a 147 dB with 1,408.8 watts clamped. Next, I'm going to try 45 hertz. I can tell these amps want more power because as soon as it drops to 10, it seems like it's not a steady bass not note. Because I know they want more, and I, I'm going to feed them more eventually. But at 45 hertz, we got a 145.7 dB with 1,350.3 watts clamp. Next, I'm going to try 50 hertz. So at 50 hertz, you got 143.4 dB with 1,417.8 watts clamped. And remember, everyone, that's going to be times two. So the numbers that you see on screen is only from one amplifier being clamped, which means that the two together did over 2,800 watts, dropping down to the 10 volt area. So next, I'm going to try 55 hertz. Fifty-five hertz did a one hundred forty point seven D B with one thousand six hundred and eleven point one watt clamp and I've seen as low as ten point three volts going down. And last I'm gonna end this video is at sixty hertz. Alright, so at 60 hertz, did a 137.3 dB with 1967.5 watts clamped. And that's out of one smart terms um terms smart three base at 0.7 per amp. So we get it almost about 4k between the two, dropping down to 10 volts. So I'm pretty sure if I can keep the voltage steady. Once I put the new C-Max Lithium in to test, that uh, we're gonna see every last bit of the 3000 watts per, maybe even more, hopefully. And right now I'm gonna open the door because this truck gets louder with the door open just to see what the overall SPL test is. And uh, my loudest so far was at 40 Hertz. I did a 147 during this testing. So I'm gonna open the door up and see what 40, 40 hertz does now let's see if we can get louder than a 147 all right so with the door open like i said the base is going in and out if it was steady i'm pretty sure it could have got that 148 db but we the loudest able to get so far is a 147.6 dB with 1,583.3 watts clamped with the driver door open. Well, I hope you guys like what you see. Sorry to keep you guys on so long. Um, I tend to talk a lot during these kind of videos because I want everybody to get the utmost, the most out of my system and to, to know exactly what's going on for those who don't know a lot about lithium such as c-max and the ones who just running um agm and dropping down their voltage you guys can see what kind of power you're you're truly getting at these kind of amplifiers they say 3000 watts but in reality it takes power to make power which means you got to have a good reserve 
and I'm gonna be putting these in soon so we can compare the two the loudest I've been able to get so far was over 1900 watts and I'm pretty sure with better electrical those numbers would change I hope you guys like what you see as always it's peace and love thanks for watching